Soda, software, cars, carpets, hairstyling, house cleaning. These are just some of the many goods and services produced within a country every year. It's important for nations to be able to measure all goods and services they create annually so they can monitor their economic growth over time. So how can a country measure the overall value of what it produces? There are three ways economists measure a nation's economic activity. Gross domestic product, real gross domestic product, and per capita gross domestic product. Gross domestic product, also called GDP or nominal GDP, is the total value of all final goods and services that are legally produced within the country in a specific year. GDP includes final goods and services such as cars and houses. It excludes intermediate goods like the steel used to make cars and the lumber used to make houses because the values of those items are included in the prices of the cars and houses. To see how GDP is calculated, consider a simple example of a fictional country that produces only two goods, apples and books. This country calculates its GDP using the quantity and the price of each good it produces this year to determine its market value. Suppose that the country produces 2 million apples and 1 million books. The price of an apple is $2 and the price of a book is $6. So this year, the total value of the country's apple production is $4 million and the total value of its book production is $6 million. And the sum of both values equals $10 million. That sum is called this country's nominal GDP. There are two reasons why the value of a country's gross domestic product can increase from one year to the next. First, the total value of the country's output might go up because it has increased the quantity of goods and services produced. Even though prices do not change in year two, GDP increases to $18 million because more apples and books are produced. Second, the total value of the country's output can increase because of inflation, which is a rise in the overall price level of goods and services. Inflation may boost the value of GDP even if the economy does not produce more goods and services. The effects of inflation can make it difficult to compare one year's GDP to another, so economists calculate what they call the real GDP, which measures the actual quantity of goods and services a nation produces by removing the effects of inflation from the nominal GDP value. But economists may still use nominal GDP for other purposes. For instance, by looking at the value of its nominal GDP, a country can determine the national income generated from the production of goods and services in a given year. Here's a simple example. Suppose there are three steps involved in creating a wooden desk. First, Chris charges $60 to harvest the trees that yield wood for the desk. Second, Victoria charges $50 to convert the raw wood into boards. Third, Gina charges $90 to build the desk. The GDP value of the desk is $200, the sum of these three production costs. The value of $200 also represents the amount of income created for the workers who made the desk. To calculate the income that is created for a typical citizen every year, economists use the per capita GDP formula. They divide the value of a country's GDP by its population. For example, if a country with a population of 20,000 citizens has a GDP of $500 million, the per capita GDP is $25,000. While changes in the value of GDP and real GDP are important measures of a nation's economic activity over time, neither is a perfect measure of a society's overall well-being. For one thing, GDP and real GDP don't show how a nation's total income is distributed among its citizens. And these measures don't tell us how the production and consumption of goods and services impact the environment. Also. 
GDP and real GDP do not include the value of non-market activities, such as the housework people do in their own homes and the repairs mechanics make on their own cars. Finally, these measures of economic activity don't reflect the satisfaction people receive from their leisure activities, such as hiking, playing video games, or gardening. Measuring a nation's economic growth by monitoring changes in GDP, real GDP, and per capita GDP over a span of years provides valuable insight into how a country's economy is performing.